What's up, people? This is Corey Gerard, and I want to talk to everybody about a issue that's happening right about now, which involves men dressing up in a more feminine fashion, or quite simply, guys are wearing ladies' clothing. Yes. Well, this sort of thing has been happening for quite some time anyway. And in fact, it has been going on as long as I can remember. But it has been brought more to the forefront because more celebrity personalities have been adapting and applying a more feminine style of dressing than ever before. And surprisingly enough, and so the most macho type of dudes are even dressing female like of a fashionable type. Like you see big muscle bound basketball players, football players, hockey players dressing up like women. <laughs> now we know that the music industry has a great effect over people and there are people that in the music industry who have always been on a little bit wild side if you want to call it that hey i'm not here to put anybody out there so i'm not mentioning any names but you know the the guys that dress sort of like in a female way did it as part of their image for their whatever style that they were into. Like we know that the, the famous artist, the great artist that passed away, he was one of the most macho dudes, but it was said that he dressed in a way, a pansexual type of way. Yes. I'm not, like I said, I'm not mentioning any names, but I believe it was a part of his image and he wanted to be a standout and do things differently. Yeah, everybody does not want to necessarily go along with the same program. So to ensure that many have more popularity than others, they will do things different to draw attention and the things that they will apply to grab people's focus will not always be acceptable or deemed on the normal side of things, but rather it might be stuff that you do not agree with at all and say, wow, this person is strange. This person is weird. I would never do that. Look how he's dressing. Even look how she's dressing. Yeah, so it's, it's not just men that dress up in a more feminine style or way, but it's women that also dress like men in a way, but they do not draw as much attention or they are not as much of a standout as the guys because, you know, men are supposed to be men. They're supposed to hold themselves up. They're supposed to be macho. They've, they're supposed to be masculine, and many of us are. And with that being said, you um, do not compromise your masculinity in order to sell records or sell tickets to games because that will make you something that you're not comfortable with being, even though you, you will be may be successful, but nevertheless, you won't be able to look yourself in a mirror. Now look, people, everyone who is an adult can choose to dress in any way that they choose to, so long as they're not influencing others to do the same, nor if they are not harming any others by the way that they behave themselves. And that is how I feel about it completely. Now, social media, most recently, they're posting pictures from 
the VMA Awards and another type of event in which shows guys that are dressing sort of feminine. You know what I noticed? Some of the guys are dressing feminine, but they do not act feminine. But other guys dress feminine and they very much act so. So that is something they want to be. Now, if you see a dude who's wearing a dress and he looks and appears to be uncomfortable with that situation, then it appears as though that very guy was forced into that. And sometimes there are pressures of the entertainment industry, in which involves you doing things that you necessarily wouldn't do in order to be successful because hey they'll tell you flat out it's better to wear that dress and and climb that ladder of success than to be at some rag factory working for minimum wage or flipping hamburgers at mcdonald's so they'll say weigh that off against each other so which do you feel is best and a lot of dudes will think about that. They'll be like, wait a minute. I don't care about personal opinions or what people think about me if they're not paying my bills. If they're not paying my salary. If they're not helping me out in other ways. And that's how people feel about it. To say that's how people feel who make certain choices that others wouldn't necessarily go along with, or they make choices that people would find strange. Yeah. Now this, this dressing up like a woman thing, we know Medea made it popular in recent years, and we've seen other people doing it in films, and they've done it tastefully and we can all like chalk it up to the fact that it was simply paying gigs. And since they did it better than most would, we accept that fact that they did it. A lot of times it's business and business ain't personal. And sometimes business is, is what is necessary. But hey, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with somebody forcing someone to put on a dress against their will and do things that they wouldn't do of their own choosing because it's wrong. It's, it's wrong to enforce something on somebody that makes them feel incredibly inc uncomfortable. And that's how I feel about that matter. Now, if those dudes that are wearing dresses, I do not agree with that, but if they do it because they're happy doing it, then more power to them. But just don't try to force your beliefs onto me or any others that finds them unacceptable. It's as simple as that. And let people be people. Let people do what they do, as long as it's not completely damaging socially. And they'll let you be you and do you as you would do it. Most definitely, folks. <laughs>